Fellas, we have time for one last segment. And of course, this is our jam of the week. You know, we, we were talking a little bit about God. You know, I'm going to turn the chair backwards for this one. You know, we're uh, talking about you spirituality. Like Ed, Edward James almost. You know, to deliver. Yeah. It's going to get real. Lights yeah. are going to come down. We're getting really real. <laughs> uh, as soon as those drum hits. <laughs> oh. Rivers just took, out, took off his cowboy hat. Can you hear it? Can you hear the voice of an angel? Is this Scott? Is this Scott's app? Yes, it is, oh, baby. Yeah. This is Creed with the, oh well. One last breath is the name of this dude. One last. This is like post me knowing this You're, Creed song. I I have a feeling you'll know the chorus when it is hits. Is this off the one where their faces are etched onto the tree? It, it is indeed. Okay, it's off of two thousand one's masterpiece, Weather. Weather. Uh, <laughs> it's. Uh, Oh, yes, I do know this. Six yeah. feet from the edge of the Wait, wasn't this like their On, first song? No, this is no, two th- this no is. their first song was My Own Prison, yeah. which is the same song, basically. Uh, but uh, They're yeah. all the same songs, just different time signatures. Like, yeah, that's yeah, the right. trick with Creed, Nickelback. <laughs> uh-huh, like, uh-huh. All of that stuff is just different. It's different speeds. Yeah. Diff- different speeds of like that's Eddie how, Vedder. That's actually how Diplo learned, was yeah. listening to early Creed work and was like, I could just speed it up and slow it down. Uh, <laughs> Creed work. I'm going to make a million dollars. Nevertheless, uh, this uh, video has 319 million views. And if you're listening to this, go ahead and pause the podcast and pull up this video. It's one of the most batshit videos I've ever seen. It is like he is uh, he has transcended parody, you know, like because I always thought that the higher video was pretty crazy where he's, you know, in a the cri- 360 cam. He's in a Christ pose and they're whipping around. This video is like 90% Christ pose, but he's fighting like a smoke monster and like a yeah. big rock monster. This is like full blown like is, Coke and Hooker. No, this is time. season two of Lost Creed. There's, yeah, <laughs> yeah, baby. There's a woman with no eyes just bleeding out of her face running around the video. It's fucking batshit insane. Tight. But uh, anyway, uh, nevertheless, 319 million views, 50,403 comments, and y'all. I read every goddamn last one of them. So let us now dive down into the YouTube comments for Creed's One Last Breath. Uh, First up, (laughs) Myra6749 from one year ago. My boyfriend's mom is drunk, jamming to Creed right now. (laughs) And I heard this and I had to look it up. It's good. (laughs) I I love that it it (laughs) subtly lets you go. Like it doesn't leave you hanging. It's like... It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's good to have your boyfriend's mom be drunk. It's <laughs> like a cre- cream of mushroom recipe <laughs> review. Just like, it's good. It's, it's good. good. It's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it it's delivers good. on yeah. what it's meant to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this song reminds me of when I was. Uh, this is this is the song that's playing when you make out with a girl that lives in her parents' garage. Well, funny you mentioned that. Uh, Andy Wycliffe from two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> this just makes me want to sit at a pretty vista with three beers in me, have my friend blow on my neck and cry. <laughs> have your friend blow on your neck and cry? Yeah. So I was like, like you're crying, or the friend who's blown on the neck is crying? Probably both. <laughs> 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 This is a, uh, you just drive drive to the top of the hill that overlooks the county fair, <laughs> and, and you just, you, you snort a couple Adderall off of a Coors Light mirror. <laughs> Lay that neck bare, my yeah. friend. Yeah. You know what? I, you know what I'm thinking? I'll get the guy at the gas station to kill my wife, and this can be forever. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Six feet from that edge, dude. Don't oh get no closer, God. dude. Greg, o- <laughs> Greg, 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 five from six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that would hit a little different. Well, Greg, you Greg, also, o- five. Greg, you're o- not five. allowed to comment on this unless you're in the second bedroom of a double wide trailer. This guy, oh, yeah, it doesn't, yeah. it, your comment just this, refreshes this it. This guy definitely graduated <laughs> high school around the same time as us. Greg, o- five. Uh, once there was this day where I wonder when he graduated high school. <laughs> <laughs> once there was the day where I Soon. learned <laughs> <laughs> he says once there was this day where I learned to sing this song to impress my crush and it really did work school day's memory wow <laughs> this is right, can you come here for a minute <laughs> no woman on the planet earth <laughs> has ever been yeah, wooed is, by uh, a random guy who's not Scott Snap par- singing this yeah you've you've never lived in a retirement trailer park <laughs> as an adopted uh 
Look, well, not even adopted, but you're living at your grandparents' house till your parents get their shit together. No, no, yeah. look, <laughs> don't misunderstand me. Scott Stapp, based on all the comments I read, there's a, a fucking army of women who find this appealing. Oh, yeah. There's no one doing a Scott yeah, Stapp impression. There's a lot of women who found Jeffrey Dahmer appealing, sure, too. Sure, yeah, <laughs> but I'm saying there's no one who finds Scott Stapp impressions appealing because everybody's doing what we just did. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I mean, you know, the Georgia satellites... Yeah, yeah. There's women that find the Georgia satellites irresistible. Oh yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Oh, we we did a, we did that one. Hey, <laughs> as he's had to instruct fans, <laughs> keep your hands to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I also I feel like this is the song that like you go to a party and you watch a bunch of like girls get wooed at a house party by Wonderwall and you're like, oh, nah. blow them mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Char- give, me, give me that I'm guitar. A, I'm gonna learn six feet from the edge. <laughs> Char- Charlie Where's is this annual party <laughs> next year. All right, I'll be back. I'll be there. Charlie is a deadbeat dad, 1987 from six months ago. Hmm. This sounds like a stupid song my ex would send me. <laughs> there's something left. No, no, there's not. LOL. The wherewithal to comment this. <laughs> This sounds like a stupid fucking song my ex would leave me. I love that. I also love that he didn't tag her. No, it's like, a, yeah. like she'll see it. No, it's a she. Her <laughs> screen name is Charlie is a deadbeat dad. So this is the ex. She's like, so this is Charlie. No, this is Charlie's ex being like putting him on blast in her name. On Dude, YouTube. how good was that relationship uh, that she's made it her whole personality? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ALS 3984 from four years ago. Oh, my fucking God. This song brings back so many memories. Especially jail. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. Fuck yeah. This is this is this is the tribal tattoo <laughs> of singles. Right here. <laughs> like this is this is the one where you're like, is that a prison tattoo? Oh no, it's just a really bad barbed wire tattoo. <laughs> uh, DJ Skin from two years ago. <laughs> 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 but uh, as a as a disc jockey sitting across the table from me, oh, yeah. have you ever been tempted to DJ naked? Because that is what I'm imagining DJ Skin just doing the turntable uh, with his wang. It is. Uh, you know? <laughs> I, it, every DJ pictures themselves naked while they DJ. I'll tell you that. It's, it's the opposite of <laughs> yeah, like other stage performances. You don't performances. picture the audience yeah, naked. You picture yourself. You just, you, you just hang. You just hang dong in your mind. <laughs> DJ Skin two years ago. I'm already regretting saying this, but maybe. Creed will be the quiet spark for a religious reawakening. Okay. Regardless, <laughs> I'm drunk as fuck at 4 a.m. It just slaps so g damn hard. <laughs> Rivers, <laughs> how does that comment start? <laughs> it says, "I'm already regretting saying this." So on on most <laughs> yeah. uh, American keyboards, there's a delete button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's also when you like, type out, "I'm already regretting saying this." <laughs> Backspace, my friend. Uh, <laughs> this this is as meth fueled as it gets. Pre- <laughs> Preston Willie Ford from two years ago. Somewhere, we lost our teeth, but we going back down because of energy. Our hearts provide a lover. It helps everything else. Our hearts pump our teeth as we drink a beer with a lib. Wait a minute! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Jesus. Rivers, you our hearts even- pump our teeth. Rivers, you weren't even reading a comment. You were just reading the Lost and Found Energy Drink label. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this was posted by Ape Shits. <laughs> yeah, this is our Ape Shit PM. Ape, Ape Shit CEO. Yeah, you you eat four twenty. Our yeah. hearts pump our teeth and our teeth bleed blood, bitch. You, you eat the box of the nighttime formula of Ape Shit and try to type something before you pass out. Uh, I just I can't believe that they found the post button. I figure <laughs> that's one that sat on their computer for eight hours and they woke up and they were like. Okay, <laughs> they they sat it on their computer for ninety minutes, and they woke up from a meth nap, <laughs> and were like, "Oh, I think I'm just just not shaky enough where I can hit post on this." Uh, raging potatoes from, <laughs> from five months ago. <laughs> five months ago, recently. Yeah, wait, hot off the ra- <laughs> raging potatoes. Yeah, yeah. No numbers. Or this is the first person to get raging. Or potatoes. well, no, there yeah, is the first one. Well, there is a number. Probably. It's, it's nine nineteen, but I'm thinking, you know, you I'm go. six feet from the end. And I'm thinking there's a chance that it could have been raging Pennsylvania Tatas, PA Tatas, but who's to say? I also uh, think that 919 might be like one of those like mental codes, like 5150. Yeah, yeah right, 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 right. It's, it's 919 is like where your parents aren't even allowed to have custody of you. It has to be like an aunt or an uncle. <laughs> so raging Patatas says. <laughs> When I used to be the head technical in our school program, a gangster boy told me to play One Last Breath by The Creed and stop playing Lame Song. Thank, <laughs> thanks for this, man. Best song ever. 
gangster boy. A gangster boy. A young gangster boy. A tiny Al Capone approached me with a Tommy gun. Yeah. And said, Do it he now, was, see? He was swinging a watch and uh, <laughs> walked up and asked me if I uh, asked me if I was a dirty rat and if I wasn't, if I could play one last <laughs> breath by Creed. <laughs> uh, got a couple more here. Marilyn Shelton from four years ago. I'm an American girl, and I just thinking about this crazy ecstasy chick at my junior high school who sat behind me in class and would poke me in the back and tell me her claim about how she'd snuck onto Scott Stapp's tour bus. But she would frequently hallucinate due to all the drugs she did. She wore baggy black pants, torn T-shirt, white eyeliner. This was the late 90s, early 2000s. I was a moody teen studying Greek drama. Dude, you don't even have to tell me it was the late 90s, early 2000s. You already painted a picture for me. Say, yeah. I know exactly what year that was. I'm pretty sure that he was in my summer school class. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is, uh, I love this one so much. Christian Abbott from two years ago. I saw Scott Stapp in Long Beach in a convertible at a red light next to me. This fucker was playing his own music and singing to it. Good songs, but really? <laughs> yeah, I... Just, How else are you going to promote these days? I love if that's true. Even if it's not true, if you just saw a say, guy, it seems because yeah. one of two things: either it's Scott Stapp singing his own songs, which is funny. Yeah. What's funnier is if it's just a guy who looks like him who grew his hair out to look like just him. A greasy just, Scott Stapp look alike. <laughs> yeah, he's like he's practicing yeah. to, for the cover band that he's in. Because <laughs> Scott Stapp is like besides the We're rock called Cred. Besides the rock and Fred Durst, he is Mr. <laughs> Florida. You know what I mean? So I don't even think he'd be in Long Beach. So I like that it's just an impersonal. Impersonator. Um, I like. Uh, what if he had like? What if he's in a biopic about <laughs> Scott Stab and he was just trying to get into character? This dude met a method actor and was just like, "You won't believe it." <laughs> but, uh, I saw it's it's Sean Penn. He saw he saw Sean Penn in a Scott Stab uniform and was like. You guys <laughs> in a Sean fin- in a Scott's got beautiful, <laughs> you know the one that he get at uh, Spirit Halloween, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the classic Scott Stapp Halloween costume. next to the one that's like I'm a cash register yeah. and I'm an I'm, I'm a boner. I'm Mitt Romney. Uh, yeah. it's, it's between those two. It's yeah. ca- it goes cash register Scott Stapp, yeah. and I'm a boner. Yeah, not like, even a boner. It's just like I'm a guy in a green suit with a boner. That's not even that's not even regional Spirit. That's the main <laughs> section at Spirit. Those are staples. Yeah, they have the one. It's it's called like Mr. Happy or yeah. some shit. It's it's right next to Beetlejuice with a D. <laughs> like <laughs> you guys are open all year, uh, <laughs> all year. Dog right. Dog Mutt six oh five from ten months ago, and I want to say every opportunity that he took to Leonard Skinner to vowel, he took. There's oh, so God. many Y's in this, and it's all caps. How many bullets does he ask for? That? <laughs> like, that's all I want. No, oh, all of them. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, ten months ago, my life officially doesn't mean a thing. There's also lots of Z's. Uh, My life officially doesn't mean a thing. Those closest to me have destroyed my heart and soul. I'm not talking (laughs) suicidal here either, so unbunch them panties, Karen. I just can't be this person no more. I must evolve. As much as I would like to think that I should devolve and ruin some shit for them, that have no problem fucking me over and thinking, I don't know, I'm fighting the thoughts of ruining their secrets. I know, because it's not right, but it's not right that I'm not asking why. No answer could bring me back to where I was, W-U-Z. I'm the most hated person in the world, W-U-R-L-D. And every person I know has fucked me over. All my exes never cared or loved me, and I can't take any more of the lies, cheating, and phone hacking. Nothing in my life <laughs> has the, has my attention, and so I don't want to invest any time or effort into a damn thing. The shell of me is here, but I'm dead inside, 100%. Just a zombie who doesn't give a fuck about a shit anymore. It's like, man, I'm trying to listen to Creed. I'm like, trying you might, to. Like, not being such a you fucking are. bummer. Bumming me like out. This is a dude that, like... <laughs> That's a MySpace post. Like, I, you're yeah, literally totally. just like, I'm I want pick you to, my three songs. I want you to look at how this is spelled. Like, it's so much fun how he's spelling it, and it's oh, such it's a depressing cats, message. Too. Yeah, it's insane. And uh, the phone hacking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it so Nothing much. Nothing in my life. Yeah, life. Yeah, how, how crappy is your life going where uh, you have to remind people <laughs> reading YouTube comments <laughs> to not send a welfare check? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, uh, I'm here waiting on one. Yeah. I'm waiting on one. I'm waiting for somebody <laughs> to give a shit. <laughs> and finally, Sakamura from four years ago. He's calling out all us motherfuckers in this comments. Good. 
I'm sick <laughs> of all you weekend Creed fans who only listen to my sacrifice and hire. I was there in 98, rocking out at the Finger Lakes Performing Arts Center up in Canadaigua, New York. Where the fuck were you? I was there. I was there. <laughs> Scott needed you. I was there shouting the lyrics in perfect synchronicity with Scott. He was looking right at me for the entirety of what's life, what this life's for. And I was so filled with the spirit, I couldn't stop stomping my feet and slamming around in a righteous pit. You weak ass punks who only found out about the Creed, pit master of early Creed. Imagine being a woman at this show and you're just like, he wait, kept locking eyes with wait, this dude. <laughs> wait till you find out where he thinks people found out about Creed. You weak ass punks who only found out about Creed from the trailer for Titan AE. You can get oh fucked. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> dude, he's deep cutting. That, yeah. is, deep, that is a, a deep cut. Creed is a religious experience for real brothers of the spirit. Scott has had to deal with enough fake friends and people who don't stand by him, but I've never left his side so please finally kindly get fucked please kindly get fucked and please scott stat please let me live with you yeah. and let me find your house yeah, and let yeah. me, i want you wear your skin i, I want to I be your son like this was written on the creed tour by like is this good scott you think this this will <laughs> the people here does it sound like i have an obsessive friend? i mean this is this is written behind the velvet rope oh clearly my God. <laughs> uh, mark tremonti wrote that like the worst part is every time i hear about people getting like super into creed i just remind <laughs> myself like how into like thin lizzy i am and like well fuck yeah thin lizzy like rules. If, but that's the problem is like I come at it with the same fervor of like a backwoods Creed fan hey, you know, <laughs> where I'm like you guys don't understand hey. <laughs> <laughs> well that is Creed with uh, with their song from the classic tree faced album weathered that's one last breath our jam of the week 